Signore, Signori. As at the start of every year, the Pope addressed foreign diplomats to the Vatican to lay out his view on the biggest problems facing the global community. For Christopher Trott, the United Kingdom's ambassador to the Holy See, some of the Pope's messages stood out in particular. And he made a very clear pitch for the international community, and particularly, let's be honest, the global north, to act quickly to ensure that as many people in the world, including in the global south, obviously, are vaccinated quickly. But he talked about it at that sort of multinational level. But then he talked about individual responsibility, and I thought that was really powerful. Ambassador Trott presented his credentials to Pope Francis to officially become the UK's top representative to the Vatican in September. After four months in his role, he says he is struck by the Pope's ability to draw attention to marginalized communities, such as when he gathered religious leaders from around the world to Rome to advocate for peace and climate justice. I think giving voice to people, giving voice to people who aren't heard in the, the sort of the corridors of a, a negotiation is something that the Holy Father does. And it's something that in October last year, um, with the meeting of religious leaders, he enabled or empowered a group of people who represent 70% of the world's population. The United Kingdom and the Holy See worked together closely ahead of the COP26 UN Climate Summit, which was held in the UK. Ambassador Trotz says both governments remain committed to investing in the structures that promote cooperation between nations to confront pressing issues such as the United Nations. He talked a lot about the importance of dialogue and the importance of multilateral fora in which to resolve differences. And this is something that my, my government puts a lot of value on, is the importance that we engage in dialogue in the fora that have been created. The ambassador says he is looking forward to working with the Vatican and Catholic networks worldwide in 2022 to advance international development, vaccine distribution, and a commitment to multilateral diplomacy. Would you like to see the Pope up close and personal? Download the Rome Reports app right now on your phone. There are versions available for both iPhone and Android, in Spanish and English. You will receive the best images of Pope Francis every day right to your cell phone, including his daily homily, his trips around the world, his meetings with global leaders, his acts of mercy to the needy. All this in a short and direct format, brief videos of one to two minutes, so you can watch wherever you are. Open your cell phone now. Download the Rome Reports app and follow Pope Francis everywhere.